Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, just a quick reminder, inshallah. One of my teachers uh, shared the parable with me once. He said, there's three houses next to each other. One of them is a poor person's house. He has nothing of value. And, uh, you know, next to him is, is, a, is a wealthy person uh, who's got lots of wealth in his house. He's got treasures. However, he's complacent in, in looking after them. He's not, he doesn't have any kind of security in place. So he's just, you know, taking his chances. And then next to it is a, is a castle uh, of a very wealthy person. And he's got security cameras set up. He's got guard dogs outside. He's got alarm systems. He's got, uh, you know, inside his house, everything is shielded. It's, it's, his wealth is in a, in a safe somewhere. So he's well protected. Imagine a thief breaks into this neighborhood and he wants to rob a house. Which house is he going to target? Uh, if he if, if he goes to the wealthy, super wealthy house, he might get caught. So that's not a good idea. If he goes to the poor person's house, there's nothing of value there. So it's a waste of time for him. But the person in the middle who has wealth that is not protected, he's the one that's going to be targeted. Now, the reason for this, this story is we are in the month of Ramadan and Muhammad sallallahu he told us that when the month of Ramadan comes, the doors of Jannah are opened, the doors of Hellfire are closed and the shayateen, they are locked up. So a lot of people in their efforts to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't feel as much resistance as they used to in the past. Uh, that's because the shayateen are, are removed from this equation. Uh, however, when we do come out of this month, uh, we will have a lot of wealth. We will have a lot of wealth. But the idea is to establish taqwa. And, and if you don't establish taqwa, you will be targeted and, and it will be stolen from you very quickly. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you can learn to have taqwa. Now, somebody has iman, that's the house with the wealth in it. But if they don't have taqwa, they have no security. And shaitan, our Prophet ﷺ told us, uh, has, has ways of entering upon a person, right? Uh, uh, one of our ulama, they said, whoever does not know the ways from which shaitan will enter upon him, then shaitan will enter upon him. In other words, uh, we have to be vigilant and watchful over our weaknesses and over the, over the means through which shaitan has access to us. And uh, the Prophet ﷺ, he told us, the, the glance is from the arrows of shaitan. So for some people, that's their weakness, is, is, is they cannot control their, their vision, their looks. Uh, for others, the Prophet ﷺ, he told us, Lawla, uh, saying, if only I had, if only I had, thinking about the past with the, with the words, if only, you know, regretful thinking, or if, the, if this happened this way, or that happened this way, is one of the doors of shaitan. Uh, for others, qila wa qal, you know, he said, she said, it's, it's the backbiting and all these things is a door of shaitan. So uh, every one of us have our own unique battles. We're all going through different challenges. Uh, so identify in this month, what are the, what are the ways that shaitan is, is likely to attack you once you come out of Ramadan with this wealth of hasanat and wealth of good deeds and, and try to establish taqwa in regards to those things and we don't have to do everything all at once. But if we do small things, uh, consistently work on them, it's, it's better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet sallallahu told us. Uh, small deeds that are, that are consistent is more beloved to Allah than, than major deeds that are short-lived. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us patience and give us uh, consistency and, and make us of those who are persistent in, in seeking closeness to him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.